learning your ABCs with all your buddies. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we. Hi kids, welcome to Bible ABCs. I'm Pastor G. Miss Jillian and I were just talking about drumming. We're talking about drums because the letter this week is D. This is an uppercase D and this is a lowercase D. D makes the D sound like in dinosaurs or in doll. Hi, my name is Donald. That's another D word and I like to dribble. Or drumming. I really dig drumming. I think you can turn anything into a drum. Maybe, but just because you can drum on something doesn't mean you should. If a parent or a teacher says it's okay, then maybe you can drum on a door or a desk. Miss Jillian taught me it's sometimes dangerous to drum on a dish or on donuts. or dynamite. What are you holding? Uh, isn't this a drumstick? It makes a really cool sound on the drum. Ooh, no, that's not a drumstick. That's a gavel. Uh, judges use gavels to uh, make decisions. Oh, that reminds me of our Bible devotion character for today, Deborah. She was a hero of God's people. Well, Pastor Greg, what made her a hero? She was a leader. People came to her to help make decisions. They had problems they wanted her to help solve. One time she helped deliver God's people by leading them to a victory. Deborah listened to God. She was very discerning and made good decisions. Could you tell us what discerning means? Discerning means thinking about a decision before making it. Deborah didn't think about what she wanted. She knew what God was like, and she thought about what God might want. That's what made her a good judge. So for Deborah, discerning meant figuring out what God wanted and then doing what God wanted. It sounds like it's good to be discerning. It is good to be discerning. God knows what's best, so it's good to listen to his advice. Well, it was delightful to do another Bible ABCs episode with you. I'm elated to find out what our next letter will be. It's a very delicate process, but that class is where donut holes come from. I'm Miss Jillian. And I'm Pastor G. Jesus loves you and so do we.